Well, hello, hello, hello. Much love to you all. May God bless you all. I just want to speak about a few things real quick. There's a really big common issue in the body of Christ. Really big issue. Maybe one of the biggest issues there is, is people don't listen. Listening is one of the most keyest things. Throughout the Old and New Testament, we see that God tells us to give ear. To listen. He who has an ear, let him hear. In the Hebrew, this is called the Shema, which I've said many times is the seal of God. Why? You're sealed by God if you love him with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul. In Deuteronomy 6, in the four Gospels, in Revelation, this all relates to the word hear. Hearing is key, and this is the issue with a lot of people that's why I always say I am not a YouTube pastor. This is just a platform I use to spread the truth, to let your light so shine that you glorify your Father in heaven. What the true laboring and work is, is out in the streets, in the studying, in the trying to edify the body of Christ. On all social media platforms, I have one of the common things between Facebook, Telegram, Twitter, YouTube. People want to be right. They don't want to be humble. They come in, they don't read anything that's said before, and they immediately cause discord. It's actually very key not to cause discord. The book of Proverbs tells us that a wicked man causes discord. Discord is very, very bad in the body of Christ, and we see discord is rising in these days. The thing is, is not a lot of people are truly abiding in the word of the Lord. There's a lot of people nowadays saying that repent or repentance is an unbiblical word. That, yes, it does mean a change of heart. But repentance is not a work. Repentance is a work of the Holy Spirit. And that's what people always forget. Go to John 16. What is the truth? What is the reprover? It is the Holy Spirit. It was sent to correct you of your wrongs. It's not a work of your own lest you should boast. We see so much of a Babylonian type of mindset with individuals of how they handle the Scripture. When you look at the New Testament... It's re-quoting the Old Testament. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about that. All the people in the New Testament that preached were giving you the Old Testament. And why? Well, the Old Testament spoke of a covenant that would come, a new covenant of the blood of Christ that would take away the sacrifices that were not enough. The one true sacrifice is Christ, the ultimate sacrifice. No other sacrifice is needed. We get a church that gets in here and starts talking about doctrines of demons and what they think they know instead of realizing the simplicity of 1 Corinthians 2.2 2, that I determined to not know anything amongst you other than Christ and Christ crucified. That's all I determined to know. Let the foolish be foolish and let the wise be wise in their own eyes. Wisdom comes from God, no other. So the issue with the body of Christ right now is we need to edify and humble ourselves and forget about your emotions. I'm not saying it's not right to have emotions. We are humans. We have emotions. We are given, Ecclesiastes 3 says, we are given a time. A time for love, a time for hate, a time for war, a time for peace. We're given a time for mourning. We're given a time for joy. But sometimes those emotions get in the way to where we do not hear the truth and we let our flesh get in the way. Remember, Galatians tells you that the flesh warreth with the spirit. This is a daily basis. This isn't something that just goes away as you come to Christ and an easy red button is hitting and your life goes so smoothly. Book of Ecclesiastes also tells you with much wisdom comes much sorrow. You get wise in the Lord, much sorrow comes. And also, sometimes, knowledge puffs up. So you've got to edify. You've got to humble yourself. You have to realize that I am nothing without Christ. So we need to be very cautious what we are doing as the body of Christ. 
Many people are calling themselves teachers. That's not a title you want. Read James 3.1. Your judgment is stricter as a teacher. Much love and may God bless you.